I'm out here uh, the day or the morning after a rain. It's chilly, which I actually kind of like. And um, I'm doing a lot of uh, maintenance this morning. The rain made things grow, as I've talked about before. So I'm having to stake up a lot of tomatoes and sunflowers and stake pumpkin plants, uh, pick a ton of peas. We didn't pick any peas yesterday. And so I knew we were gonna come out here this morning and there'd just be a plethora, and there are. So picking peas, uh, clipping suckers that literally grew three inches in one day. I mean, if you, it's not a big deal if you miss a sucker, it's just they grow really fast and um, will be thick and big before you know it. And there's a couple of them that I'm not gonna pick just because they're so big. Um, I can't really tell if it's the sucker or the stalk. <laughs> <laughs> and that's with me checking these plants daily. So it just is what it is. But I wanted to show you um, a solution uh, for my pumpkin plant that was taking over my kid's garden. It was driving me crazy and I, I didn't want to lose all their plants because this is where all their tomatoes are and their peppers. And I didn't want to lose those from this pumpkin plant. So I kind of came up with a solution from my own backyard, so to speak. And I'll show you about that. So this is my pumpkin trellis slash arbor that I built yesterday. And right now it looks kind of crazy um, just because it's bare. But we had a tree, not the whole tree fall down, but a substantial amount of branches fell down last week. And I trimmed a bunch of branches off this tree as well and so i was staring at this yesterday i was trying to figure out a solution that wasn't going to be bulky and in the way um because i i love this space in here so i was trying to figure out if i could make this pallet work can you help me there it is all of these branches came from this huge pile over there that matt's planning on dealing with at some point and so i just went over there I grabbed as many of the thick ones as I could. I had to saw some of them off. Had to remove a lot of the extra branches. Laid them all out here on the ground. Kind of got a sense of which ones were the same height, which most of them were, or I just cut them to the same height. I looked for ones that I could do this sort of bracing with. I had sort of a V at one end um, because I knew I wanted to try to lay some branches across the top like this. So all of these have a little V bracket, if you want to call it that, here at the top. So I zip tied these to the structure. And then once I had had everything basically set up, and it did take some finagling just to kind of figure out which branch was going to be the best. And then once I had everything zip tied together, I got out this trellis netting and just tied it to either the T-post or the sticks or whatever. Truthfully, I would rather have cattle panels or this kind of fencing for this, but I really am trying not to spend any more money. I'm trying to use what I have to make things work. And that's, that's why I'm doing this. If I had my way, I probably would have bought an arch or got a cattle panel and arched it here. Um, but I'm really trying to use what I have uh, to be resourceful and save on money. The way this is gonna work and it's starting to rain, so I gotta make this quick is this big jacoby little pumpkin plant in here had already pretty much established itself established its runners so i had to kind of split the trellis here into like a upside down v and i have this big old branch kind of training up through here i had to do some finagling with that to kind of get it but it's, it seems to be latching on really really well so that's good i had to cut some um some of these branches off unfortunately that either I damaged while I was trying to get it in there or that just weren't cooperating and that's fine it'll recover so I have that training up that side I have this one training up this side and I still can kind of get in here if I need to from this way or from this way or even through the trellis now what's gonna be interesting is this cantaloupe plant here that i have next to it you know when I planted this garden it was for the kids I was trying to give them one of everything and I didn't have a lot of room because I didn't foresee me doing this this extension 
So ideally I would not have planted those things that close together, but it is what it is and I'm gonna make it work. So I might let this guy kind of trail out here or I actually might even make another arbor going this way over this walkway that this cantaloupe can climb over. So I may, I may be working on that this next week. So um, we'll see what happens, but I'm starting to at least try to get this guy trained up this, this trellis for now. He's not really wanting to cooperate at the moment. <laughs> so that's okay. We'll get him, we'll get him there eventually. I don't really expect this big pumpkin to take over this top part like I do this one because it will have this teepee to grow up and I'm gonna use this excess um, trellising to wrap around this teepee so these plants have something to grab onto more than just the wood. So I'm kind of suspecting that these will stay over here and the outside ones I actually can train it on the fence. So it may grow up a little, little bit on this side, but um, I don't intend for it to take up this whole arbor. So that was my, what I worked on yesterday. I'm happy with it. Like I said, it's very rustic looking, but really once these plants start filling this out, it's gonna be really pretty um, to walk through and to look at. I have my morning glories that are intertwined in here. So there'll be purple flowers amongst the yellow flowers, amongst the big green leaves, and uh, it'll be really pretty. So I'll try to keep, obviously we'll keep you guys posted on how that transforms.